Hi there, I'm Paul from Norway. I'm in Copenhagen right now and I'm heading on this overnight ferry back home to Oslo. Come join me. The Danish ferry company DFDS has two passenger ferries with daily departures. One departing Copenhagen for Oslo and one making the opposite trip back. The ferries can accommodate over 1700 passengers and it's a scenic, comfortable and relaxing way to travel between the two Scandinavian capitals. The ferry departs in the afternoon, crosses the Kattegat and Skagera quarters overnight and arrives the next day at 10 in the morning. The ferry terminal in Copenhagen is located at the north end of town in Nordhavn, the North Harbour. You can reach it with a DFDS shuttle bus or by public transport. Tickets for the ferry are best booked online and are issued once you're at the terminal. Passengers with cars drive on to the ferry and passengers on foot, like me, just walk through the terminal building. And after presenting your ticket and passport, it's time to climb on board and get ready for your mini cruise. The ferry is divided into 12 decks, which are dedicated to car decks, restaurants and entertainment, tax-free shopping and passenger cabins. You can easily go from level to level, by either by taking the stairs or by riding the elevators. There are different types of cabins you can choose from, all of them with their own toilet and shower room. This is a standard interior cabin. This one comes with a window, there are family cabins, larger Commodore cabins, and spacious Commodore Deluxe cabins. Some also have their own balcony. Now this time we decided to splurge a bit, so we got a first class cabin, a so-called Commodore Deluxe cabin. A Commodore Deluxe cabin is like having a hotel room on board, and it comes with a large double bed. It has big windows which give a nice view, and an office desk and a couple of comfy chairs. There's a spacious bathroom, and you can also get room service. Included is also a 44 hour Wi-Fi voucher, and a fridge with some complimentary drinks. What better way to start a cruise than with a glass of something bubbly? The deluxe cabin also has access to a Commodore lounge, where you can relax and enjoy complimentary wine, beer, water, coffee, fruit and snacks. While waiting for the ferry to depart, Gabrielle and I took the opportunity to chill and play some cards. As the ferry is about to leave, my favorite place to be is out on deck. You can exit at any time onto deck from several places on the ferry. It's nice to get outside to enjoy some fresh air and in the summertime when it's warmer there's also a bar open. When the ferry starts moving you glide out of the harbor of Copenhagen with the wind in your hair and nice views of the harbor and some fancy new neighborhoods. To the south you can spot the Øresund bridge connecting Sweden and Denmark. We are on this cruise in early November and can therefore enjoy an early sunset as we say goodbye to Copenhagen and set the course towards our hometown, Oslo. Now there's no secret that a lot of people who come on this ferry, they come here because of the duty-free store. The ferry has a large duty-free store, or tax-free as we call it. You find plenty of good sea deals on everything from clothes and cosmetics to chocolate, licorice and other sweets. Much of it typical Scandinavian candy. Even if you don't plan to buy anything, it's nice to pass some time checking out all the store has to offer. For a Norwegian, the biggest savings are on alcohol. Prices on the ferry can be up to 60-70% to cheaper than what you'd pay in Norway. It's worth noting though, that Danish alcohol prices aren't as high generally and the savings aren't as dramatic for a day. Anyways, this is an opportunity to pick up a bottle of good Norwegian aquavit, matured at sea. A guest service center on board is the ship's reception and can help with any questions about the ship. The ferry got plenty of different things to offer, both for kids and adults. A game room with arcade games will keep the kids busy. Or you can go for a swim in the bubble zone. In the evening you find various types of entertainment. Watch a troubadour play in the navigator bar, 
or there's a band playing in the later evening in the Columbus Club. You can even join a music quiz to try to win a bottle of champagne. In terms of food, you can find a cafe selling pastries, sandwiches and salads. A range of restaurants offer different kinds of cuisines. Perhaps you want to try the pizza at a little Italy restaurant, or do like us, try out the buffet at the Seven Seas restaurant. This is a big buffet with plenty of good quality options such as seafood, cured meat, vegetables, steak, desserts, cheese, fruit and so on. You can have a full five course meal here if you got the appetite for it. My way to do it is to start with a plate of some mixed seafood. Crayfish, shrimp, herring, mussels. My second plate is cured meat. It's like a viking feast. Then comes the main which is a hot dish. Today they had lamb steak on the menu and I added some potatoes and vegetables. Then it's time for dessert. There's a wide selection of chocolate, cakes, apple cakes and various yummy sweets. The dessert is followed with a plate of assorted cheese, before I finish off the meal with some fruit. We end the evening with a nightcap in the Columbus Club, looking down at the wake of sea foam next to the ferry and the Kulin lighthouse blinks to us from afar, as we look forward to waking up in Norway the coming day. We wake up early in the next morning, enjoying the views and the break of dawn from our cabin. After a long night sail at sea, the ship is surrounded by land on each side, dotted with trees and white painted houses. This is the Oslo Fjord, and I cannot think of a better way to arrive to my home country, Norway. A big breakfast buffet and freshly brewed coffee awaits us up on deck 8. A great way to start the day. There's a nice selection of bread, different spreads, pastries, and they got my favorite, Norwegian waffles. We enjoy a leisurely breakfast before we decide to head out on deck for a better view of the fjord. It's a bit of a gloomy and chilly morning, but we put on several layers, and eventually the sun rises and warms us up. Eventually more people come join us and we all enjoy the fresh air and great views of the surroundings. As we approach Oslo we get some amazing shots of the city and it reminds me again what unique way it is to sail into the capital of Norway, which I am proud to call our home. Well, we made it up to Oslo. Thanks for coming with us on this journey. If you want to know more about this ferry, I'm going to post a few links uh, below. Also, if you need a local guide in Oslo, make sure to look me up. And remember to like and subscribe for more Norway with Paul. Hallå